This is the Alson Wi-Fi capable camcorder. Let's take it out of the box. In the box we find the camcorder itself right here. They even include a little case here with the Velcro uh, enclosure on it like that. And the back of it has like a belt loop so you can put your belt through there. They give you a composite video cable right here. This is a charger. It's just your typical plug-in thing going to USB right there. There's two batteries. The other one is already installed on there. User's manual, of course. They give you an HDMI cable, which goes from micro HDMI to standard HDMI. And they also give you a USB cable, which goes from standard USB to mini USB, not micro. So here's the camcorder itself. Let's go over the external. There's a speaker right here, your button right here to start and stop recording, a couple of buttons here, your zoom lever, the screen, which is three inch. You can open that up. It'll turn on. And there we are. This is a touch screen here, but there are also controls over here to get into the menu and do all the kind of stuff that you would do with the touch screen. So you can actually use either or right there. And there are two, I'm sorry, two SD slots on it, a micro SD slot there. And on the bottom, there's a slot for regular SD card there. You have your standard tripod mount quarter inch. And uh, let's look at some of the features of this and we'll take some video with it and see how it does. The screen here can also rotate to different positions, as you see. So like if you're recording yourself, you can flip it all the way around. Or if you're recording with it up in the air, the screen can tilt down like that. And it locks into any of these positions. You can kind of stick it in the middle if you want, but it is sort of, you know, wanting to go into the detent places as such. Under this flap here, there is a jack for the composite output, your USB to charge it or to transfer it to the computer, and your micro HDMI. The USB can also be used as a webcam, so this whole thing can actually be used as a webcam as well. Here's the front of the camera. There's a light over here, microphone, and the lens. There is no lens cover or shutter or anything as such. It just stays just like that. It is an 8 megapixel sensor in here that will um, send the resolution up to 24 megapixel for still photos. For video, this will do full HD 1920 by 1080 p at 30 frames per second, and it can also do 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. It has a digital zoom only on it. There's no optical zoom, but the digital zoom will go up to 16x. The camera also includes a pause feature similar to that that you'd find on a smartphone where you don't have to split the video into separate clips as such each time you stop recording. You can pause it and it will continue on in the same actual file itself. Uh, as stated before, this can also be used as a webcam and it has Wi-Fi capability so you can review the pictures or video that you've taken with it on a smartphone or a tablet. It supports SD cards up to 128 gigabytes. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and record some uh, video with this and record some pictures with this, take some pictures with this, and I'll put that into the video here. Okay, we're now recording with the Alson camcorder. Everything over here appears to be pretty good. Um, the only thing I do notice, which may be more of a function than the screen than the actual camera, is this red bottle right over here appears on the screen to be a bit more orange than it is in real life. But everything else, as far as color rendering goes, is pretty well spot on. We'll come over here and we'll try the zoom on it. Like I said, it's a 16x digital zoom, so we'll go ahead and zoom in. And that seems to work well. It is kind of fast. You can tap it as such, but it, it does zoom rather quickly. We'll zoom over here as well. And now we'll take a look at the exposure. If I point at the light, 
it does have a very rapid adjustment down. Um, it's not a smooth gradient, but that is to be expected. The lines you see in the light are a function of a camera recording the light. Not a problem with this camera. Uh, this would be something you would get with any camera, this banding that you see here. And if I come down from there, it's sort of a rather rapid change in the exposure. As you can see, as it changes like that. Now this is an amateur camcorder and it aspires to be nothing more than an amateur camcorder. It's great for those just starting out. Uh, somebody who just wants, you know, a real camera instead of a smartphone or something like that. Uh, this would be great for a kid, someone who's just starting on YouTube or something like that. Uh, it's an inexpensive unit and seems to do a relatively good job. So let's go ahead and stop here and we'll try the light on the camera. Okay, this has an infrared light on it. I cannot see it, but the camera is seeing what it can uh, you know, using the infrared as such. Uh, you do get a black and white image this way, uh, which of course is normal for any camera as such, but it seems the light is quite bright and seems to do an excellent job really for uh, some sort of night shot mode as such. I really have no complaints with that at all. Uh, that seems to do actually a rather good job. I'm going to go ahead and take some photos now of this. Uh, like I said, the camera will uh, extrapolate the data from 8 megapixel on up to 24 megapixel. You can, of course, adjust the quality uh, down if you just want the true 8 megapixel. This is now recording under LED light over here, and it seems to do very well with no banding or anything like that. Again, you do get the very quick uh, exposure adjustment with it. Let's go ahead and take this outside now. Oh, well, we're outside now. Looks like I just got a delivery, so that's good. It's a very cold and sort of gray sky day. We're going to have very unsettled weather for the next day or two. There's not much to see, unfortunately, being that it is, well, almost winter. There's the pumpkin deflated there. The hose reel, the red on that does appear pretty much as it does in real life. And as far as the rest of the colors, they do look pretty good. I really don't have any complaints. Let's zoom in down there. Not too bad. And that should give you an idea of how fluid the motion is. So, really a good starter camcorder. Seems to be pretty good all around. I'm now going to show you the menus and different modes and stuff like that that are available on this camera and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, I have the camera now hooked up to my video capture device. As you can see, it is a monaural output over the composite, so it's just the yellow and white. And what we're going to do here is press the menu button and we'll look at the different options that are available. Resolution is 1920 by 1080 
30 frames per second, 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second, and 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. We can go to loop recording. That'll create video clips that are 3 minutes, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, or you can turn that off so it'll keep recording until the card is filled. Motion detection can be turned on or off, and you can set a date stamp on or off on there. You can do time-lapse record, 0.1 seconds, 0.5 seconds, or 1 second. Under Wi-Fi, you can turn that on and then set that up so you can see your pictures and videos on a tablet or smartphone. Video capture can be turned on or off, and slow motion can be turned on or off as well. I'll press the menu button again. It'll get us back to the video mode which is now live video. And if I press the mode button, if you look in the upper right corner, where it says 1080 FHD, it now says 24M for 24 megapixel. And the number above that is changed to 13446, which is the number of pictures that it can uh, capture with the remaining space on the card. If I press the menu here, we have some other options. Capture mode, single, two second timer, 5 second timer or 10 second timer, that's like a self timer feature. Your image size allows you to select 24 megapixel, 20, 16, 12, 8, or 5 with the resolutions that you see on the screen. Sequence can be turned on or off. And the quality can be economy, normal, or fine. Sharpness is soft, normal, or strong. White balance, auto, daylight, cloudy, tungsten, or fluorescent. Color can be normal, black and white, or sepia. And your ISO or equivalent film speed is auto, 100, 200, or 400. I'll exit out of that and press the mode button again. And this shows the stuff that I've taken before. Here's a video that I took just before. I don't have the sound on this turned on right now, but uh, this is the video playback through the camera as output over the composite. So we'll stop that and we'll go ahead and hit the mode button again and in here you can set the date and time. I have not set that as of yet. You have an auto power off option which will allow you to select between off 3 minutes, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes which will allow you to uh, have the camera automatically turn off within that time period to save power. The beep can be turned on or off Frequency can be set to 50 or 60 hertz. If you go over to format, that will allow you to format the SD card. Language will allow you to select any of the ones that you see on the screen. TV mode will allow you to select between NTSC or PAL. And default setting will set everything back to defaults if you choose OK. So once again, this was the Alzone Wi-Fi capable camcorder with a 3-inch screen and 16x digital zoom, full HD. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.